big box. Oh, yeah, this is a very, very big, very heavy box. Uh, I went onto Gumtree one day and saw that there was a lot of USA long card old from 2001, 2002, 2003 ish sort of cars on there. The seller wanted at least about 70 quid for it. Now, I managed to get them down to 50, plus 20 quid for shipping, or in this case, postage. Here's the box. You can hear all the cars in there. They're all USA as well. No sort of like international or anything. They are all USA. And just to actually prove it before I do show them to you. Right. Now, when Race Groove shows these packages, this is basically what you would see that's advertisement for all the old uh, track that you could get probably still can now but you have to pay for it but as well as that in the UK we would never ever have the consumer information which as you can see is 1-800 toys now because we work on a metric system which is basically all numbers no words this is from the USA this is genuine USA stuff. Uh, there's no actual card number, although up in the corner there, it does have uh, some kind of lettering. Anyway, before I uh, start, let us open the box up fully. Now these are all a mixture of uh, $1 and $2 cards. Unfortunately, my 70 quid I sadly didn't quite make. In total, this box is worth about $67.68. Still good though, considering. But again, that was all checking on South Texas Diecast at all the toy cars. Anyway, let us start. First up, collector number 204, the Ferrari 360 Mondena. Classic blue. 2002-2003 car. Look at that actually gorgeous paintwork on there. Oh yeah, and only one of these cards has the classic yellowing uh, broken blister pack. Because these are so rare, none of them are being opened. Again, in America, these would be cheap and easy to pick up. People can crack them. The UK, these are rare. How rare? Let me put it this way. USA, you have flea markets. You can pick up these cars easily. The UK, we're lucky, or I'm lucky, and everyone else is lucky to probably find one, maybe two, of these carded. Like I say, when I find my older uh, Hot Wheels cars, I do say how incredibly rare and lucky I am to find them. So again, that's the difference between the USA and the UK. But again, that's that one. Let's get on with it. Collector number 215, we have the Pop Cycle, one of my childhood cars here that I demolished once ago. This of course has the classic Lamborghini uh, five hole wheel, and in the back there on that little plasticky turquoisey bit, there is a bike in there, that's what made this so incredibly cool, <clears throat> is the fact that in the back there, there is a bike, which you can see, just. Next up we have number collector number 217, Shadow Jet. Very cool funky colours this one. Sort of a silver effect with basic sort of tampos, as you can see on the top there. Very nice. Collector number 220, been around for a while this one, the GT Racer. In beautiful... Uh, blue with flames. Also as well a question, whatever happened to this one? It's very heavy so I suspect probably it got sort of discontinued because of weight issues. Don't know but again. Collector number 207, the Power Rocket. Very nice track car this one apparently I'm told. Again classic five hole wheel from the Lamborghini. Plastic body, metal base. Always good. I don't know if that insert bit is plastic. Oh, right, the little bit of the front is plastic. 
but the big huge rockety exhaust on the back here they're metal so that's a very good sort of uh, car I think I'm not sure collector number 216 the 32 Ford a few variations on this one but this is the only one very nice car indeed basic uh, tampos it's just got state trooper for Tullaville CA somewhere in California I presume not very good with my states I just know that uh, the abbreviation is sort of like the state name I think the only one I know is TX which is Texas but again collector number 218 Ferrari 250 very nice silvery basic paint uh, tampo this oh I did lie by the way somewhere in this box there is a uh, double of one car I will show it and that will be in the trades and RKO's or do I open it now I'm gonna be trading RKOing again you'll probably have a, I'll probably have a lot of USA uh, viewers wanting uh, or UK viewers wanting a USA car if they don't get them from other RKOers but an old vintage one would be nice or even just one they can open I'm going to stop doing this because it's making me dizzy gorgeous silver colour collector number 206 the Polons GTR-1 have two of these one in black and one in yellow this is the red version very nice basic uh, tampos again simple red nice wheels basic tampos on the top as well very cool no treasure hunts or supers but well again just to have a whole vintage collection of 2003 2002 carded cars is brilliant collector number 204 the Porsche 911 GT3 one for all the Porsche fanatics out there. I did go through all of South Texas diecast checking each model. Quite a few variations. One of which I thought I might be in with a chance of getting a good amount of money on. Sadly though, it wasn't the one I was after. Again, there are a lot of sort of variations that you do have to be careful with. And again, they're the more rarer ones. Collector number 209, the Ferrari F40 with opening boot or uh, bonnet catch. It's on the back here. This does open. Very basic uh, blue. You never see a Ferrari in baby blue. Again, this does sort of open up the back end there. It does open up because, I mean, you can see sort of like if you look at it carefully, you can see it is sort of moulded to come open. Collector number 203, Hooligan. Now this is the double that I do have a double of. There's no variation. I did have to check to make sure. The variation that is on South Texas Diecast is where the metal paint is on the engine, there is apparently one that doesn't have that paint on, and that's the more rarer one. Basic black paint, some flames on the side. Very nice indeed. That's the only one I've got a duplicate of. Collector number 31, we have the uh, 2001 first edition Mono Pisto. Getting quite older now. Very nice first edition. As you can see in the corner there, it does say first edition. Very nice indeed. Collector number 33, 2001 first edition, the Fright Bike. This is the one that uh, was a dragster bike that uh, has been converted. As you can see, it's got the plastic hoop on the back, which would be easily lost. If you find this loose, you'll probably find just the bike and not this bit of plastic underneath. Because that bit isn't attached, it did pop off very easily. But again, beautiful find, or beautiful great have. Collector number 39, 2001 first edition, Riley and Scott Mark III. Very nice basic blue colours with some tampos on the top there. Very cool. 
Oh, sweet, I didn't notice that. It's even got the Hot Wheels logo on the spoiler. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Darkness approaches. I wonder if I hold it up that way. That's better. Upside down, but you can see it then. Cool. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Collector card number 34, 2001 first edition, Jet Threat 3.0. Again, very basic sort of colours, silver with some tampos on the top. But again, that cool, awesome Lamborghini uh, double O or five O wheels. Very cool indeed. Collector number 24, 2001 first edition, uh, Miles Storm. Very popular one, this. Oh, and here is one for uh, Ray Screws. Just to prove that these do come from America, on the back of this one is an original JC Penny receipt. And look at the price $1.19. I remember prices like that when Hot Wheels cars used to be 99p. Not sort of like now. £1. I think the cheapest you can find is in Argos or Moons £1.50. And I think Ray Screws and all the USA collectors collect theirs first, all like about $2.25, which is about one something or other. But yeah, that is the original JC Penny, the only one to actually have that sticker on it. There is another one that does have uh, somewhere up in the corners a um, logo of some uh, company because it's got something on it. But yeah, that's the only one that does have a proper USA sticker on it. Oh, it's this one. Haha, <laughs> I've just found it. <clears throat> Collector number 15, 2001 first edition, La Troca. Finally at last, I have this one. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous red. Beautiful, beautiful colour. And the actual sticker. Oh, there it is. Sadly, someone's tried to peel it off. I'm suspecting Target, possibly uh, TK or TJ Max, possible. If you can identify that, please do inform me. Gorgeous, beautiful shade of red. This pickup. This is the first edition. So lovely to have that. Bit of uh, sad crumping on the back here. It's the only problem, literally just here. As you can see, the back has crumpled a little bit. That's possibly packaging crumple or possibly where they've been packaged like this. They were packed very well, all sort of neatly stacked so they didn't move about much. But there was no actual padding. I don't, I don't think so. I can't remember. Oh well. Collector number 26, 2001 first edition. 1971 Plymouth GTX. Popular fan favourite this one. And this is the beautiful green one. So I'm wondering if Mr Ray Screw's daughter Amanda would like this one. Well. There we are. Very nice indeed. Collector number 25, 2001 first edition, Lotus Project M250. Another beautiful uh, car here. There is a variation on this one, I can't remember though. Very nice though. Red interior as well. Ready, orangey interior, but it's definitely a red interior. That's what it says on the description on the South Texas Diecast. Collector number 30, 2001 first edition, Outsider. Now the other thing as well is the fact that this uh, does have the choking hazard up in the corner there, but notice how incredibly discreet that is. Because I mean it's like a case of you're captured all by that. On the UK cards with that, that bit there would be sort of like the main inscription saying this is a choking hazard, don't let children under three play with this. And the reason why, these two little dudes that are on the back here, they sadly do come off. And the other thing as well is this does have a variation on it. On the uh, top, or on the front there, there's the number one, or the Riley and Scott, or the logo, I think. Oh, VJ. Yeah, the VJ logo on there. Let me get the camera light. There it is, yeah. That's underneath the driver's helmet. That VJ logo, if that's missing, that's worth a lot of money. That's apparently a production error of some kind, I don't know. Collector number 50. 
2001 first edition, the Ferrari 156. I do have this one, uh, well I do have a different variation because that's why I thought I had it, but nope, it is a different one. Another great thing as well is the fact that these cars sort of roll. Again, no errors either, but again, I did, I did check the two duplicates that I do have just to make sure. Collector number 46, 2001 first edition, Mo Scoot, one that I've wanted for a very long time and I finally have. Absolutely brilliant uh, fantasy thing this. Again, metal uh, top there, slight metal base but the rest of it was all plastic. It's a shame really. I have no idea what happened to this model but again, that will have to go down there because it's a bit taller than the rest of them. It's a shame because that is a nice model. Collector number 52, 2001 first edition, we have the 51 Roadster. And this also has a slight wheel variation. The wheel variation is the tiny little wheel on the front there. If it has sort of the wheels that are on the back there, which is more common on the uh, go-kart, the little wheel on the front there, if it has that sort of back wheel but in that size, that's the variation. Absolutely gorgeous car though. Very interesting model. I think this one got final run as well. Not sure on that. Shame though, as it's a nice model. Collector number 23, 2001 first edition, we have the Dodge Viper GTS-R. Gorgeous red. Although my web camera picks it up in orange, but it is red. Silver stripe on the top there. Absolutely gorgeous colour that. I'm glad to have a GTS in my collection. I do like my Dodge Vipers. Collector number 51. We have the uh, 2001 Cunningham car. First edition. I do have this one uncarded. So I now have a carded version. Do I get rid of both of them or do I keep them? Eh, I think I'll keep them. Again, beautiful colours this. Very nice colours, basic colours on the top as well. Not seen this model for a while either. It's based on an old sort of 1950s race car. Very cool indeed. Collector number 19, 2001 first edition, Crazy Apes. This is a popular one that race grooves I think likes. Very shiny chrome. Also as well, oh I thought that was all metal, but nope. Again, on the top you also have the... Uh, Crazy 8's uh, logo. I'm going to have to flip round up this way. Yeah, just the cool logo there. Oops, why did we camera? Beautiful basic colour, a blue with sort of like chrome on it. Very cool indeed. I was getting a bit tall. Collector number 28, we have the 2001 first edition Evil Twin. A very hard to find uh, model this one. I think people enjoy it because it has a, this face. Very cool evil looking face. Again not sure but I think this one still runs but only in the Halloween series. I think it was last year or the year before this year I'm not sure. But sort of like it's going to be a new one there. Collector number 221, Riley and Scott Mark III. Different variation on this one. This one's all pure red with blue spoiler. The other one was a first edition. This is a later on uh, or the next year after, I think. No, 2001, so this would have been a second uh, colouring or possibly in a different series. Very nice colouring either way. Collector number 49, 2001 first edition, we have the old number 3. Lovely old car this, love to see this one. Very cool indeed, as you can see it's got the number 3 on the uh, radiator there. Very basic colour. I also like the fact as well that it's got a spare tyre on the back. Could never understand why they didn't make that spare tyre look like these tyres. But I suppose if you're going for vintage ality, We'll just put a car wheel there anyway. Collector number 35, 2001 first edition, we have the Montezuma. I think I have this uncarded, or I have a variation of it anyway. 
This is the 2001 first edition colouring. I also liked it when sort of like they put the text on the side as well. Much more easier than on the base there. I suppose really because sort of like if you're short sighted or can't really read it good. But if you're flicking through the pegs that'll be the perfect way to describe it. Brilliant uh, car. Not very good in uh, nowadays weather with it raining constantly here. So it would get very wet soon and you possibly ruin your interior as well as your electrics. To uh, collector number 16, 2001 first edition, so fast. Very cool white, pearl white colouring with basic W logo on the front and a red metal base. That is cool. Again, this is the one that the uh, little top bit there actually comes off. Very cool indeed, because you'll notice it has a door, but I don't think that is a door actually. Oh no, it is a door. Yeah. That's obviously just a case of opening the top up to let the engine breathe, even though it's got a little air intake there. Still cool nonetheless though. I do like it. Collector number 40, 2001 first edition, the XCIV, uh, XSIVE. Now this is actually quite an interesting colour, or quite an interesting vehicle. It seems to be a case of not only in 2014 and 2013 did Hot Wheels cut corners, they were doing it back then. This one, you see all the nice pretty paintworks and tampos and decos? It's only on that side. The other side is blank. And you're sort of wondering, well, why? Also as well, sadly, since I think 2009, sometime there, they have changed it to one whole vehicle, so this no longer articulates. Which is a shame because that was one of the featuring features of this car or of that vehicle. Collector number two uh, 213, the MS T Suzuka. Ever heard of this model? There you go. Basic red with a flame tampon on the side. Nothing really on the top, just some sponsored logos on the top there. Which just says Net 2. No idea what that means. Perhaps it means internet too. Oh well, either way. Collector number 208, uh, 208, we have the Cadillac LMP with a slight wording variation. You've seen what the other ones are like. This one has sort of like um, some kind of italic type bold or something or other. I know someone's getting creative with on their keyboard or in the Word document found the uh, additional. Uh, oh, was it a wording sort of system and tried a different type of text style? Anyway, absolutely gorgeous black finish. This one, plastic base, which is a shame, but metal bodied. Very nice alloy on the back there, or spoiler on the back there. Very nice car overall. Collector number 202, uh, we have the Speedster. Or the Shredster, read that wrong, Shredster. This is the uh, Shredded 2, I think it even says underneath. Yeah, Shredster. And as you know, this is the Shredded 2. This is when they basically stuck uh, sides on it. So obviously a case of they knew sort of like this was going to be a good track car. What if it's got little spoilery bits on the front and back that can catch in the loops? Again, disgusting lime minty green body. With some horrid dark purple sides on it. My colours exactly. I love cars that are totally disgusting to look at. Next up we have collector number 211, Crazy Eights. This is the uh, one that has the yellowing on the blister. As you can see, definite yellowing. Uh, there's also a slight bit of crumple package damage on the front there, which is a shame, but again. This is one that I had in my childhood, because I remember it. I also remember on the back it had that on it, which is the Crazy 8 logo. Absolutely wonderful car. The only yellowed one as well, believe it or not. Yeah, here's that Hooligan, which I have for a double. This will be up for trade, so if anybody wants it, uh, PM. Or just message me. I'm not into Google Plus or friending list. Just PM me if you can, or I'll PM you my email address if the PM gets through. But there you go anyway. 
so this one will be up for trade. There's no variation between this one and the other one. I did check just in case because I suddenly realised, oh, hold on, I might have a variation. Well, I didn't, so that one can go up there. Last three. We have collector number 13, 2001, first edition, the Cadillac LMP. So remember that other Cadillac? Well, this is the 2001 first edition of it. Beautiful, shiny silver. Some basic tampos on it. Literally very basic tampos. Just some sponsors on the side. And including on the very back wheel there. You can just about see that. The USA flag. Isn't that neat? Then we have the 2001 first edition surfing school bus. Collector number 14. And of course I love my surfing school buses. And this is the one with the woody effect on the side. Absolutely brilliant car or van bus. Still around to this day as well. Hasn't changed much other than a uh, slight wording variation on some cards. But again, that doesn't really matter. And finally, the last one in the box is collector number 47, the 2001 Morris Wagon. This is one that people don't particularly like, but I like. This is a mixture of a uh, Morris Minor wagon, which is basically a Morris Minor estate, which did have a woody type effect on the back end of it, but again, it didn't have a massive, huge, uh, overblown engine or airbags in the boot. But again, absolutely beautiful car and one to have in my collection. And that is officially it. The box is empty, as you can see, nothing else left in there. And that, oh, has made me extremely tired. But anyway, thanks for watching. Quite a fair few, few cars have built up there. And again, like I say, none of those are for trades or RKOs. Just that one over there, that hooligan. That will go into the box. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, comments below.